guys, so we got our guide set here. Uh, this is just to keep the plane flat um, because the deck has a crown in it, so you can't take the router and follow the deck that way. You have to have a straight, flat uh, guide to go off of, so that's what this aluminum bar is for. Got a couple of popsicle sticks to make up for the crown of the deck, stuck over here on the edges. So um, now we'll get our planer depth set or our uh, router depth set and take into account the thickness of the hatch. Got a three quarter inch bar here, so three quarter inch plus quarter inch uh, flange on the hatch should just be a one inch one inch depth cut, and we'll see how that looks. So we'll get our depth set here on the router. Going for a one inch cut. Careful kneeling on the or leaning on that doesn't cause too much deflection. Okay. I don't think it really is very much, but tipped it a little bit right there. Ah! How? Just from going like that. Rookie mistake. <laughs> yeah. Make my nose itch. Yep. Are you going outside the line a little bit? Too? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say you should have redrew that line, but I should have tipped the pencil out a hair or something. But... I think it'll be fine because it will just fill it in a little bit there, and then if we got it up a little bit or something, throw out a little bit, right? Well, if we, but it should be fine. Maybe what a guy wants to do is just put down the base one right here. A base layer of mat. Yeah, or just like a couple layers of mat and then just throw the hatch on there and set it down and then glass it. You know, if, if this was rounded off a bit, a guy could put down a layer of mat and another one and then just put that down on top of it and just and like weigh it down to make it a seat or yeah yeah just put some tape on it or something mm -hmm. or some pva cover with pva should be fine we it's coat it if we coated it with pva then we could just put it on there and then we should just be able to Friggin' glass around it. Yeah. Especially, especially if you had just wrapped it with like a layer of mat. Mm -hmm. Or two layers of mat, but just bring the first one, you know, up and over, and then the second one just up here to the edge kind of type thing. Mm -hmm. Just cut it around, just use that as a template, just cut it and put it in the corner. Yeah. And 
and then throw that on top and then a guy should just be able to just glass right up to it just butt it up to with everything else right right seems like that worked pretty good yeah and then again you just you just got sand it when they're done yeah yeah we'll try that i think because i've been wondering how we're gonna do it easily yeah because it's hard to like break that corner and then you have to wrap that mat and then yep. this corner here is like, you gotta put some putty in it. That might be the easiest way to go about it, right? I think so. Might still need some putty actually anyway to fill that kind of stuff in. The other thing is it doesn't need to be like really super duper tight either. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Done routering for now. We got the hatch down to this level, middle, about an eighth inch showing there, which would be kind of the thickness of this glass here. But the sides are kind of tall still. So that means we'd have to take the middle down more to get them to match up. They're uh, probably 3 16 showing still. Not trying to do it perfect here, so 
back is about the same as the front. But, I mean, if this comes out flush, it'll be good because, like, we'd just be pushing straight back with any pots that we may push this way. Side to side, not so much. But even so, we'll just bring this up and it'll probably be be about an eighth showing, so that's no big deal. Anyway, I think that's about all for tonight. Just cleaning up our work area for tomorrow. May take that down a little bit more in the morning, but we'll see. Might just uh, run with it as is, so ready to get some glass down and get this project finished up. So anyway, we'll clean up here and bring you back in the morning. All right, guys, we're back at it again. Yep. So, what you got going on, T? Uh, I've just got this uh, hatch lid. What is it? Hatch ring. Hatch ring. And I'm just going to wipe it down with some acetone and then some uh, mold release so that fiberglass doesn't adhere to it. Nice. Just a couple of little grease splotches from, I think from the hatch in there actually. So, gonna get it wiped down so that the mold release adheres to it correctly. And yeah, I'm back here. Uh, didn't take this wood down far enough. Forgot to account for just uh, something in my math. So we're gonna take the Take the router to it again, take it down another eighth inch thereabouts. I think it's like three sixteenths on one side and an eighth inch on the other and kind of try and get that more flush to where the fiberglass will end. So that's what we got going on right now. We plan to try and get this thing glassed up today. So um, I've already shown you plenty of routering I think. So. I'll do that off camera and I'll set you up here to watch Tristan apply some mold release. like that. Do a couple cross crisscrosses. Be sure you get the corner good because corners are the worst. Okay. Uh, Not really too. There you go, buddy. That's actually probably enough for the whole thing. You can be aggressive with it.
All right, guys, so Tristan got this painted. One coat so far, probably gonna put three or four on there. Um, I got the back here rattered out, and I think this should go in fairly flush at this point. Let's find out. It looks pretty good. Flush right here. Flush right here. We're wanting to bring it flush on the sides, but it actually doesn't look bad. It might just be enough to. It might be a high spot in there. So uh, I didn't sand it yet. There might just be a couple of high spots that I need to take down with the sander. Um, but it's looking pretty good. So we'll uh, take the sander to it, see if that helps, and if not, maybe take it down a little bit more, but it's getting pretty close now. Uh, I'll have Tristan cut this hatch ring a couple more times, and then we'll think about mixing some glass together. here to check on the boys. <laughs> Mom brought us some tasty lunch. Got some, <laughs> got some Subway. Yeah, so we can keep home. at it here. <laughs> Always hard to run home and get bored or not get bored, get lazy there and then spend like three hours at home. It's easy to do. Bring us some lunch down here. Just got our roll of, of uh, fabric out. Cut us a piece. I have to piece this one back uh, in back here. So, got a chunk here. I'm gonna measure up my chunks for sides so we don't just cut a big sheet because obviously you have to cut a big hole in it. Makes for uh, quite an unusual piece later. So, I'm gonna piece this in, get it all measured out. We got a bag of off cuts here that I think will work pretty good. Finally, got all our pieces of fabric cut. I think that took about an hour and a half. Three layers. It's just tough fitting the pieces to fit, uh, fit the angles there. But must do what must be done. <laughs> um, didn't want to waste a big chunk of metal just by cutting a straight piece. And that would have just been really hard to deal with. So uh, we'll take it in little bite sized chunks here. I'm going to start with this middle part right there, move on to there, and then finally this big chunk go right there. So we'll start by mixing up some resin and putty and get the show on the road. Uh, we're on our last coat on the hatch here, just getting a little bit on this top lip. Um, actually, I think we'll probably put that in first. So we'll start with that. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and get some resin mixed up. Start getting this stuff together.
start by putting the hatch in. I'm gonna start by bedding this hatch in, and then we'll move on to these big strips. All right, mix up a little bit of putty for that. Microblues and microfibers. in the low spots right here. Stick these pre cut strips of cloth in.
point. Pretty well saturated. There'll be some squeeze out when we put the hatch ring on there, so call that good for now. We'll uh, patch up any weird spots once we remove the hatch ring. So. on there to weigh it down.
this is a consolidator. Helps get the bubbles out of the, the fiberglass. so little.
get tired. guys well we got her knocked out looks pretty good I could have gone a little bit higher with the hatch right there but I think it'll be fine do the trick for what we need it to do so got we'll a let this touch up here and there on the deck anyways so yeah easy enough to throw down another layer of mat and yeah we'll let this uh, glass harden up come back, pop the hatch out, 
see how the inside face looks. Touch so you're it up. Saying the hatch ring should have been up a bit more right there. Yeah, in oh, the back. Yeah. Well, by the time it gets a little sealant in there and stuff, mm -hmm. it'll be just fine. Yeah. I'm so, scared. guess we'll uh, go home for a break. Not even the break. Probably just go home for the night. <laughs> yeah. I'm exhausted. Yeah. So. It's been a good day. Yeah. Got a lot done down here. Yeah. This is waterproof back here. That's the important thing. Yeah. All Everything decks all deck is waterproof sealed again, back so. up. Now we're yeah. going to start turning our attention to this fish hold. Get things done. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, guys. Um, I think our back deck is just about wrapped up. Just a little bit of touch up, like we say. Yeah. Seal uh, that hatch down. I guess I need to weld a couple of tabs to the bottom of it so we can tighten it down. Mm -hmm. um, that shouldn't be too big of a chore, I don't think, huh? No. So what we did on the fishtail is on the hatch ring itself, we welded some threaded plugs on the bottom of it, and then the bolt can come up through the plywood right there and suck it down. And that way you don't end up with this. You don't end up with these bolts going through your hatch ring. Because what happens is that you get bad corrosion underneath all of these. Yep, and eventually it ruins you know, your hatch. It does, it ruins your hatch. Yeah. So it worked out really nice on the fishtail. You also don't have these bolts sticking up. Those can get hit and they can get damaged in the end. It's no fun hitting those when you're shoveling snow either. <laughs> point, it isn't. Yeah. yeah, this one will be nice to shovel, huh? Mm -hmm. So I guess that's about it for today, guys. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you again soon. Mm -hmm. Yep, bye guys.